hello and good morning welcome to leave with love so this one I, it's early it is 5 33 in the morning i'm like oh my god it, I, I love it when you comment i love it when you comment <laughs> but somebody commented somebody commented um let me see it was in the video that i had did where i do enjoy hearing about the karmics <laughs> i love hearing about the karmics and when they're going through it and something happened to them and i love it <laughs> i really really do and i'm looking crazy like i just woke up but the thing is it's like people when they're doing dark magic on you it's like they don't want people to pray for you they don't want good things to happen to you they don't want you to overcome whatever it is that they put on you they don't want you to i don't know like prayers make it worse you know when when whatever work backfires on them it backfires they done did all these death spells they did all the chaos magic they did all the poverty spells they did <laughs> they did all this stuff almost choked right there they did all this stuff right and then it backfires you know because that is what a return sender does it returns the energy back to whoever is putting it out that's all a return of sender does it is not spell work on to someone you're not trying to hurt anyone this has no names there's no names that go on here it's three words return to sender return to sender that's all you write on there it returns the energy back to whomever is putting it out there that's all a return of sender does it returns energy that you can't see it you can't see this energy but you could feel it like you know oh, somebody they done did something to me i don't think like this and then all this stuff starts happening and you don't know why it happened but you know why it happened if somebody's doing work somebody's playing playing games but you can't prove it <clears throat> to a return sender a return sender is going to return the energy back to wherever it came from it's like whatever was stopped or delayed you know that's what they do they stop and they delay things but they can never take away what god has for you if God has something for you, it is for you. And nobody can take it away. They can delay it, though. They can delay it and they can slow it down, but they can't make it go away. You know, God has it for you. The delays is just like, it's just going to be better. When it does come to you, it's going to be more, it's going to be bigger, it's going to be better than when it was supposed to be in your hands at that moment in time. But, you know, it's fine. You know, we have to go through these things in life, right? Someone commented on this video. The, and then I looked them up. Because I was like, there's no way somebody's going to tell me, like, I, I shouldn't laugh. I, I'm like, are they telling me that I shouldn't be laughing? I laugh because it's like they, they want me dead. They've done all this stuff to me. And then it's like I overcome everything. It, it, I'm still moving forward. I still have my nonprofit organization. I don't work for anyone. I work for myself. I'm the director. I'm the owner. It's like, how are you going to fire me from my own business? Like, what? You know, they lose out. They miss out on their blessings, on their jobs, on their things because they're coming for me. Like, how can you come for me? If I, I did everything from the ground up, but it's, it's whatever. It's like you can't help people. You know, they get so jealous and they get so mad and they get so angry and they do spell work. Someone commented, they don't even have a real name. They've only been a user for 11 months. So it makes me think, like, could this be a person that is attacking, that is attacking and... You know they want prayers they want me to feel sorry for them now and i'm like after all this shit that they done did <laughs> they want me to feel sorry for them let me just read it because i don't like it says attention in big bold letters 
child. Sometimes is your loved one the spiritual healers and prophets sending you love and protection. Pay attention on the energy child. A bit of teaching for you. Ancestors and angels, guardian angels, prophets, they send you protection. They pray for all souls. And please pray for the souls. They are lost in pain. You don't know the past life story and they don't know yours. Send them peace, love, and light and healing in Jesus' name. In what we do and forgive them and transmute the darkness to the light of Jesus and return it with forgiveness and love. Learn, my child. Learn teachings from Archangel Michael and Father Jesus. I am chosen one. Peace, love, light, and healing in Jesus' name. And so is done. I love you. All right. You know, I know she's the person. It could be a woman. It could be a man. They're praying in Jesus' name. But I don't pray for people that wanted me dead. I don't pray for people that tried to kill me, that tried to put me into poverty and wanted me to be uncomfortable and unhappy in my life. I'm not going to pray for those kind of people. You know, I pray that they get everything that they deserve. I pray they get everything they deserve. And when they start going through the things, they start going through the backfires and all this stuff starts happening to them, I enjoy it. <laughs> I enjoy it. I personally enjoy it. I don't feel sorry for my enemies. I don't feel sorry for them. I don't feel sorry that they're sick. I don't feel sorry that they're going broke. I don't feel sorry that they're losing everything. I do not feel sorry for anybody that came for me, you know? And then it's like, 